Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here doing my Season 3 in review. So basically, as you can see behind my coach right there, we won the Super Bowl this year. We finally got our first trophy in year three. The first two years, we lost in the wild card, then we lost in the divisional. Then we got the then we got the Super Bowl. So basically, what I'm gonna do here is just kind of go through, show you uh, the kind of stats for the season, the uh, the standings, the year end awards. So let's go ahead and go through that first. Let's go ahead and see how uh, how my team did. Baker Mayfield ended up with God, not even 2,500 yards, 18 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, only 153 yards per game. Um, it it just I don't know, man. It just wasn't my year for passing, dude. But when you go here, rushing, Tariq Cohen, 2,500 yards and 24 touchdowns. He was the best signing I could have had. Nick Chubb only had 132 yards in the regular season. So, I mean, it. he was definitely worth it. Uh, Baker Mayfield had five fumbles. Ha, huh? go figure. It's because I stopped passing the ball after he, after he was fumbling all the time. So, he only had 13 attempts and five fumbles, so you, you tell me if he had a problem. So Tariq Cohen, my guess is he was probably the MVP this year. Um, my receivers, let's see how they did this year. Njoku, n not even a 1,000-yard receiver, man. Whew. But I did I did spread it around. Uh, Njoku, Callaway, Josh Gordon, DeAntuan, Hanawin, and then Marshall Holloway. He was my rookie. Even Trey Madden got in there. Uh, Seth DeValve, who's probably going to be my starting tight end next season. Uh, and let's see. Let's see. Blocking. Uh, defensive. All right. Let's take a look here. So, Reggie Raglan, Shover. At least my middle linebackers are leading with tackles. That's good. Uh, Peppers. Wow. Garrett was doing crazy. Let's see here. Let's see. Garrett had 19 freaking sacks, dude. And he, he wants so much money. I'm partial to just give him the big contract because he is worth having on the team like he's that good so as you can see the next guy on my team had three sacks all right anybody have any interceptions god no i really really need to work on some secondary so all right let's take a look at my kicker 14 to 17 field goals and one field goal was blocked oh god I remember that vogel this punter is just ridiculous um, I, I'm glad I haven't locked in for a while. So kick return, nothing crazy. Punt returns, again, nothing crazy. So, all right, that is where I stand for my team stats for this season. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the year-end awards. Let's go to yearly awards. Tariq Gowen, league MVP, and then he's going to be leaving me, which is sad. But whatever. It all comes to an end eventually, right, folks? So, Tariq Cohen is the MVP. Am I the coach of the year? Jonas J, coach of the motherfucking year. Put that on my mantle, bitch. So, there's that. I have that going for me. And let's get into the AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Tariq Cohen. So, we're doing well there. No other Browns are even listed. Defensive Player of the Year. Miles Garrett. Got Ryan Shazier when I play against him. I see why he is Player of the Year. Uh, Miles Garrett. Damn. Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do. I may keep him. I got to check out my cap situation. I may very well keep Miles Garrett. I, it, it's hard to let a guy like that go. He's just so expensive. Rookie of the year. Any of my guys? Oh, look at Holloway. He's in there. So he'll be he'll be coming on a come up. So that's cool. I can uh, maybe feel better about getting rid of Gordon. Defensive player. Rookie of the year. Ah, none of my guys. Damn. Are they even? Okay. Teddy Weldon's down there. So I guess that's good. He's in the top 10. <clears throat> Best quarterback? God, fucking... Baker Mayfield's not even listed. <clears throat> best running back, Tariq Cohn, of course. And best wide receivers, nobody on my team. Yeah, it's pretty, that's awesome. Look at Joe Batonio and Kevin Zietler. Both of them have have uh, listed. Miles Garrett, of course, is the best defensive lineman. Best linebacker. God, my guys aren't even listed, are they? Boo. Everybody else's linebackers are crazy good best db 
Nobody on my team again. Boo. Best kicker. Third. Can't do that. Can't beat that. So, so there we are with that. Um, I'm moving up the legacy leaderboard. I'm up to number 14 of all time, I guess. And then let's go down and we will show you the standings from each division. So it was 13 and 3. Steelers were 12 and 4. And they lost in the playoffs. They didn't get to me. So, ha. Jaguars and Texans. The Jets have taken over from the Patriots in three years in. They're 10 and 6. Uh, the Chargers, 8-8. Eight eight. God, look how terrible that division is. Whew. All right, NFC North. Packers and the Bears made it. NFC South is the Saints. And the little Falcons missed it. God, everybody's pretty even. The Giants and the Cowboys. So, and then the Rams. So, the Rams have been pretty good the last couple seasons. So, there, so there is that. Um, let me go ahead and show you the roster. The Super Bowl winning roster. Um, of what we had because it's going to be a lot different next year. So it's Mayfield. My backup was Tom Savage. Just I had to pick up someone because I didn't have a backup. So uh, halfbacks, Cohen Chubb, and then uh, Johnson will be gone after the season. But uh, I got Perkins, so I'm going to keep him around um, as a backup. So we got that fullback, Trey Madden. I'm gonna keep him. He's been he was one of the best trades I made. He's he's been amazing for run blocking. Wide receivers, Gordon, Callaway, Hanoian, Braxton Miller, Holloway, and Equanimetrius St. Brown. So I'm probably gonna get rid of Gordon, maybe. Um, at least start phasing him out. Cause he's getting up there in age. Uh, tight end, got Najoku and Devalve. So Najoku is gonna be gone after this season. Um, I just can't afford to pay him. And then I re-signed DeValve to a decent contract, so I'll keep him around. Maybe I'll find another. Maybe I'll draft one that I can build up in a year or so. I don't know, something like that. I do need a good backup. All right, my ends. Batonio's getting up there in age, uh, but I do have some rookies that I'm hoping will start filling in. Like, that guy's a rookie, so uh, left guard. I have this guy who can step in because Zeitler, he's about to be gone. He's about to make a ridiculous amount of money this year, um, so I may trade him. And then uh, this guy's getting older, but I got some I got some guys like this guy I drafted, and he's he's working his way up, so he's almost as good as as him. So that'll be good. Uh, Austin Corbett and Cooper Chase. See, I'm I've drafted well offensive line wise because that guy's a rookie too. So I feel like my line is going to be very very strong. Like, because I think what'll happen though is I will get to the point where I can resign them, but they won't be like elite yet. And then I can sign them way long term. And then by the time their their contract runs out, they will be elite. So we got Carl Nassib and uh, Smith here. So he he, he stepped in because the guy I had before didn't want to stay. Uh, right end, Miles Garrett, man. I cannot. Dude, I can't. He wants so much money. But I'm going to think about it. It may legitimately be worth my while to at least franchise him. Because if I, if I have extra cap room, I might just franchise him for a season. And then see what I can do from there. So, Onobi, I got him re-signed. And then, so, there's my defensive tackles. Left outside linebacker. This dude's a rookie. And that guy I've only ever had, I've only had for one season. So, my linebacking core is definitely coming up. Raglan and Schobert. And this guy's a, a only, so, I got a good, I got a good core. And they're young. 26, 26, and 22. Uh, right outside linebacker. This dude, see, like, I, I've got a good core. Of linebackers and that is important they're you know they're coming up so f cornerbacks so we got Dunzo Ward who got his contract I think is up next year too he's been he's been pretty damn good but he hasn't really got any interceptions so um gain but all my other guys are getting old like look like Gaines Mitchell Rowe Nickerson I I've held on to that dude since he was like a 69 rating he is slowly but surely creeping up the come up so I will uh, see what I do with them, but that's I mean pretty good core there. Uh, Breeden Bullet, Birdie Calhoun. Calhoun. Look at this man. Look at these. I got two. I got a rookie, and they're all seventy nines. Things are things are looking up, man. And this guy's a rookie too. So like it really has. I've really come up with uh, the secondary 
and there's my punter. He's finally a 79. He's resigned for a long time. So this year with picks, I after even winning the Super Bowl, I have three first round picks, two seconds, two thirds, three fourths, two fifths, and three sixths. So in the off season, I may just try to make some trades because if I can if I can finagle some stuff to get some trades, I will uh I'll do that. Cause that could that could work out in my favor too. So we'll see. I'm gonna I'm always I'm always one to try to finagle some things and uh, and get things rolling. So let me go ahead and advance this to the off season, and then we'll see what player like what I have left to uh, who who I have to resign. Cause I have some. I got an achievement. What I get. Aaron Donald Legacy Award. Oh, I'm, I got a better legacy then. Miles Garrett. Oh, Miles Garrett didn't even play in the goddamn Super Bowl. Oh, that's sad for him. All right, so who do I have left to try to sign here? So I have Savage, who I'm not going to sign. So I can. F so I have two superstars, and that's. So and so Roe and Cohen were already saying I'm not staying. So I can franchise them, or I can negotiate with him, or then I can fran look at that contract, dude. Like, oh my god. What does Tom Savage want? He wants What is what does Miles Garrett want? Oh my god, he wants so much money. Whew. Holy crap, what does Najoku want? Najoku wants a ton of money too. Like I can't ugh. He's kind of dropped some stuff, so I don't know. In Christmas, obviously, I'm not gonna, I'm not worried about him. So, so we will see. I'm gonna try to think about what I want to do with these guys because I, it, this is this is it. So, I will uh, go ahead and do that. Let me see what players I have to upgrade. Braxton Francois. He must be a. Uh, oh, those must those must be my. Uh, my uh whatchamacallit players. Um practice squad. So I'm not even sure why I care enough to do this, but does he does he have more now? Oh no, it just for some reason didn't go away. Lewis Pellerin. Yeah, these guys just aren't. Yeah, come on. I don't know why they haven't disappeared off of here, so do that. Alright, there goes Jabril. He's already re-signed. I can finally get him. So he's earning extra XP. I got him for a couple more seasons already re-signed. Got Callaway. He's creeping on a come up. But what I want to do I keep wanting to upgrade is catching. So he's up into the 90 zone. He's actually better than Roman Perkins. Here we go, buddy. What do you what do you got? He's coming up a little bit. He's been he's young, but I can I can do something with him. Chad Thomas, he wants a he can get a little better. So I'm slowly but surely upgrading these guys to get them where they need to be. Um, I mean, I'll just upgrade these guys for fun because these guys probably won't even make the team. I mean, I'll put them back on the practice squad or whatever. They're not. I mean, they're pretty terrible though. All right. All right, guys, but, I mean, that really is it for the season in review. If you've watched any of these before, there really isn't a lot to them. It just kind of goes over where the team is at this moment. Um, I'm not going to need a lot of players in the offseason, but I have a lot of draft picks, so that should cause a unique situation here. So most of the guys I have are signed. So we'll see what happens. So there's Nick Chubb once we get next year. I uh, I want to re-sign him and then <laughs> pump him up, man. I'm finally going to take advantage of Madden giving me 150 skill points on him. So, all right. So, all right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, make a comment. You know, I, we do reply to all comments. We really enjoy the interaction with you guys. So, but for Jonas, I will see you next week in the off season to continue rebuilding the Cleveland Browns. But for now, I am out.